Hello and happy Friday. I am going to show you how I go through my Friday work box today and it is how I stay organized with clients, with um, my team, administration stuff, how I organize all my ideas and new projects. It is a phenomenal system. It was created by Organize 365. Um, I also use their Sunday basket for my home stuff and I will link those videos I've done before about those two products. I'll link them below. But here, <coughs> here is my Friday box. It's technically a Sunday basket, but I am not, um, it's the same thing. It just is labeled differently. Um, so this system, like I said, is completely organized 365 however our brains work very similarly and um, I'll be right back I'm gonna have to change batteries okay let me try and get out of the sun here so the Friday basket so like I said organized 365 created this um, our brains work very similarly the box has two compartments, uh, one up front, which is where you throw any items um, that you don't need to work on until at least Friday of the week. And then the compartment back here where all our slash pockets live. Uh, so you see four colors of slash pockets here, pink. Uh, now I'm going to tell you what I do. If you, know, you want to go in and purchase the system and learn how Lisa over there trains on it. Um, you can do that. I have adapted it to how it works for me. Um, the basics are her system, but um, here's how I use it. The pink slash pockets are for new ideas or projects that we're currently working on. So for example, I have one that just literally captures all the ideas. Um, I have one for a book idea that I have. I have one for my website which um, is constantly kind of being updated in things. It is almost pretty much complete so I think come next quarter I can probably remove this pocket. Um, I pulled out my annual party pocket because I would like to start having an annual uh, party celebration in December so I need to look and see if that is going to be feasible for the, this year. Um, my magazine that I have, I um, need to update it and a couple changes I want to make. So that's a project I'm currently working on for the quarter. And then, um, what is this? I have a slash pocket for ideas on either like webinars or a course that I can create. Something that I can create that will um, be helpful to wedding professionals. Now, um, this slash pocket kind of goes along with that one. Um, now purple is for services that I currently offer and clients. So I'm gonna try hardest not to show you client names, um, but these are all the services that I offer. Wedding planning, um, there's some add-ons that I offer design candy buffets and then event planning party planning for team and professional development so i have one for my social media manager i have one for trainings that i need to, to work on um, or notes from trainings i have a networking i have one for any affiliates that i have i have uh, a general assistant folder and then I have one for each of my assistants and then I have one for wedding MBA which is a conference that I'm going to in uh, November in about 30 40 days or so um, the green slash pockets are um, the green slash pockets are administration and finances so I've got one that has account information, some legal information, my insurance stuff. Um, admin tasks is my quarterly checklist that I go through. 
Uh, I've got some SOPs that I want to write. And then I have one flash pocket for each month of the year that my receipts go into. Um, and then these, I created these. I don't haven't used them yet for much. Um, tax return just gets kept with all the receipts once I do taxes. Inventory, I just need to make a list of the things that I have available. Um, you know, like vases and candle holders and stuff like that. Tax payments, I put those receipts there. Uh, and then these are the months that have already passed for the year. So, all of that to say, um, on Fridays, I pull everything out. So this is all the stuff that was in the front part of the Sunday basket. Um, all of this stuff is what I need to go through and organize and figure out what my priorities are for next week and then schedule those things on my calendar. So these are, um, my, like I said, purple is client work. So these are current clients that I have worked on this week. I have, um, this is a new contract and I turn it upside down because obviously I don't want you to see that. Um, a new client that I have that I need to onboard. Um, I have some business cards from a vendor I worked with. Another business card. I just need to add their information um, to my kind of Rolodex. Let me set you down since... So I'm just going to go through this and show you what I have. Um, so sometimes I'll write notes <laughs> and I'll just throw them in there. Uh, this is just a scratch piece of paper for a service that I'm offering that I just need to um, kind of get on paper. Um, probably could go in that SOP folder. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put that in my SOP folder right now because I just need to get that on an official document. Um, this is some ideas that I had for my course. So I'm going to put that in the additional Revit New Stream slash pocket. I've got receipts, invoices that were paid. I'm just going to make a separate pile of finance, financial stuff. Um, this is my startup routine and um, end of day routine that I like to keep in the daily folders, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, actually, I can show you now because they're right here. Okay. So this is a, um, what Organize 365 calls a rainbow set of slash pockets. And you can see that it's got the days of the week on there. Now, I don't work on Mondays. That's not an in-office day for me um, because normally I have an event on Saturday. So my pretty much um, business working days are Tuesday through Saturday. So I will put this on the side, on the side of my Friday work box right here. And then... I'll show you how I kind of fill in the week. But I'll put my startup routine in Tuesday's folder because that's the next day that I'm going to be working. Now back to the pile. I have a list of blogs that I need to write, so that's going to go kind of in my to-do pile over here. Another receipt. Another couple paid invoices. Uh, these are, I have a, um, a pink slash pocket for consultations um, because it is an idea, an opportunity to make money. Once that opportunity, that client, potential client, turns into an actual paying client, then they will transition into a purple folder. But what I do need to do is I have a couple of consultations that turned into clients this week um, so I need to pull those out and get them ready to be onboarded um, so this consultation folder can just go right back in the Friday work box because I don't have any consultations scheduled so far this week 
This is another client stuff I need to work on. It's actually a wedding next weekend. Um, so I have a blue slash pocket labeled hotels. As a reminder, blue is for team or professional development. So I signed up for this course to take a um, learn about how to work with hotels. And the first class I ended up not really caring too much for uh, the attitude is maybe not the best word, the um, tone of the instructor. So I have not um, joined yet. And I don't even believe I can watch the replays after so many days. But I do need to check into that and watch what I can. Um, here is see oh some information on um, a possible service that I want to offer so that's again going to go in the pink pocket with that idea and then I have a red um, another set of rainbow slash pockets let me get those organized and tell you what these are for all right I have this set of four um, I took the yellow out because I really didn't use it. Um, yellow is for errands and things like that. And I really don't have too much of that for my business. So um, I just took it out. So red is a to-do slash pocket. And I use it mainly to keep the list of things that I need to do every Friday when I go through this work box, which is all these steps that I'm talking about right now. So um, I'll go through that in more detail in just a moment. Orange is for calendars. I have a few calendars in here. I have a perpetual calendar that I printed off and I write my clients names and the year that they got married on this calendar so that I can refer back every week or so and see if I need to tell anybody happy anniversary. I have a current year calendar and then what I'll do is I'll cross out any days that I that we can't do events or, you know, it's too close or, um, you know, I'm out of town or something like that. And then I will highlight the dates where we do have events scheduled already. Um, and then I have a 2023 calendar. As it starts to fill up, I need to add, you know, a couple dates there for my new clients, but... Um, you can see I've got a few events for next year booked already. And then recently I went ahead and printed um, a 2024 calendar and it looks different. Um, the same kind of deal. I went through and I marked, um, you can see like the first week of January I marked off uh, because I'm not working that week. Um, went through and circled any holidays so that I know to charge the holiday fee for those dates. And then I'll see, you know, what... Um, events when events start booking for 2024 I will highlight those dates and um, I will need this because I'm going to onboard some clients and I need to mark their dates off so I'm going to leave that one out I have one marked budget that just has a checklist of all my expenses business expenses and bills that need paid and then I have one marked goals. I have a very thorough goal setting process. Um, and then I go through and I make a check sheet like this. And I'm pretty sure I can, well, I've got client names on there. Um, let me show you December because I don't have any names there. Um, so as you can see for December, catch up on all event blog posts decide on refine portal that's a, a software that I'm trying to decide if I want to buy um, hold the holiday party uh, or whatever version of that I decide that I can do this year create and send a team member survey um, update all templates in my year end checklist evaluate my budget for next year or evaluate the budget from this year and create next year's budget Redesign that magazine. Um, you saw that pink slash pocket with the magazine. And then schedule a strategy meeting for next year with my social media manager. So, Nina, if you're watching, I'd be expecting that email in December. Um, so every week I will go through this and see what I need to work on. Now, I have two weddings next weekend. So I know that I'm not going to get to any of the extra, um, extra things this week. So we're going to just put that back in 
have two weddings here that are completed and I need to put these in a binder. So I pulled the binder out. I just need to do that. I have a thank you card that I need to file. Um, I have a mixed up receipt here. Um, oh, this was lunch one day on a wedding day, so I need to add that to my expenses. Um, a receipt for some paper towels that I bought. A receipt for shoes, wedding day shoes, and my one of my software subscriptions. Um, and then this, oh, this was notes from the training. If you watched last week's video on a work week um, vlog that I did, this was the training I did last Friday. These are the notes for that. And I don't need to do anything with it right now. So I think I'm just gonna put it in this blue slash pocket called trainings. And I know it's there when I need it or need to refer back to it. Um, I need to go through the pink slash pocket I'm sorry the client slash pockets the purple ones and see if there are any I need to pull out to work on yes uh, yes Add those all right so now that I have my to-do pile um, I kind of have two to-do piles this is the financial side of the to-do pile and this is the other stuff um, and these are the binders I just need to put those weddings in so now that I have these piles I will pull out this to-do list and start going through so you can see I have color coded this to match the rainbow colors. So the reds are to do's, the oranges are calendar stuff. Um, like I said, I crossed out, I don't use the yellow slash pocket, I crossed that out. Green is financial, blue is goal related stuff, and then at the end I schedule my week. Now this is how I would ordinarily schedule my work. Um, the first week of the month and second would be client focused the third week would be business focused and then again client focused and then if there's a fifth kind of week in a month which seems to be is about every quarter then I'll have an extra business focused but however um, you need to phase your work and your systems and your schedule with the current um, reality of your business right now I'm very event focused and have all my events in the fall pretty much um, November is my last wedding for the year so I'm heavily heavily client focused right now I am NOT doing a lot of business focused work so I'm gonna ignore that for this week uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is check for any upcoming client payments or appointments and email them reminders um, so I use Google Calendar for this. I have a whole calendar that is set is set up for me to put client. Let me turn you around. I have a Google Calendar that is set up solely to input client payment due dates and like appointments like um, hair trials or things like that. Things that I need to know about but I don't necessarily need to attend or pay myself. The calendar color I've assigned as gray, so it kind of is in the background. I don't notice it until I'm looking for it. And then um, every week, I will go in to my Google Calendar. I will go to next week, and I will look and see if anything's due. Um, so one client has a hair and makeup trial on Sunday. I know she knows about that, so I'm not going to email a reminder. Um, Another client has a final payment due on Tuesday. Uh, they know about that. I just got them the invoice, so I'm not going to send a reminder about that. And then... Next Friday and Saturday are weddings. Um, yeah, so I am pretty good 
on that. Now I will also, the next thing is set agendas for client meetings scheduled next week and email them to clients. Um, the only meetings I have next week is with Saturday, Saturday's weddings videographer and the couple. Um, and then I have the wedding Saturday and Friday and Saturday. So I don't need to email anybody anything there. Um, okay, so next is looking at that orange slash pocket and seeing if there are any anniversaries or anything coming up. Um, so that's the first week of October and I do not. Um, the next anniversary is on October 10th and um, that is more than a week away. So I don't even have to worry about that. So this pocket slash pocket just goes right back in there. Uh, so next we're down to the green and I tend to do this all in one kind of fell swoop. Look at any expenses that are due and pay those bills um, from now through next Friday. Review business checking account and schedule personal payment for the week. Schedule, oh, there you go, schedule personal payment. Um, record expenses in my business finance tracker spreadsheet. Um, and I will try and remember to link below who I bought that from. It's been a great, great resource this year. So logging expenses and then logging income, recording mileage, that is all done in that one spreadsheet, and then reviewing financial goal and um, actual expenses and income for the month. And today's the last day of September, so I can probably go ahead and do that. It's also the last day of quarter three, so I can go through... Um, you know what, I'm going to wait on the, usually every quarter I'll go through and kind of evaluate my expenses and if they were worth it. Um, that's also part of that spreadsheet. Um, but I think I'm going to wait and do that next week. Uh, well, next week I have a wedding. I might go ahead and do that today. We'll see how much time I have when I get done with the expense reporting. Now I am doing two weeks at once because I did not do this last week because I knew I was taking um, some time off this week and I wasn't gonna schedule much um, in the way of client work and all that. So I have two weeks worth of expenses and income to log. So let's do that. Let's do that now. all my information and I just want to say keep track of your miles because I have driven over 4,800 miles for my business so far this year at 58 cents 58 and a half cents per mile um, that is let me make sure I've got the math right here yep that is two thousand eight hundred thirty four dollars and forty seven cents that I don't have to pay taxes on <laughs> for my income. So um, this finance tracker, which I said I will um, try and remember to link below, uh, is from, I think it's called the Organized CEO. Um, I love it. So it has got, um, obviously, instructions. The Organized CEO, yep, that's where it is. Um, so it's got instructions on how to work it. It's got details so you can add on like your um, income streams, your expense categories, and stuff like that. It's got a place to goal set, um, a place to put recurring costs, and then it's got quarter one, two, three, four, 
It's got a monthly breakdown. Um, it's got where you can put all your income, your expenses, and your mileage. Well, I think I added the mileage, but um, I love it. I love it. All right, so the next thing after expenses is checking on our goals and scheduling when to work on them, which I already said um, I'm not going to work on anything extra except for clients next week. Um, so we are done with this red file folder, and it can go back uh, where it lives. Next is just to go through this to-do pile and um, figure out what I need to do with it. Now, for my client work, I have two weddings that I for sure need to get um, organized and final documents out to the first thing. So that you can see my day of the week pockets here. So Tuesday, that is my number one priority, is for those to get done. So those are going to go behind Tuesday. So once I am finished every week, um, this is what the work box kind of looks like starting out, um, the rainbow set in the beginning, and then this stuff um, I'm not working on. Normally I would say, okay, this is the last Friday of the month, so is there anything in green that I need to look at and work on? Um, there's really not. And then, you know, first Friday of the month, I would focus on pink, the second purple, and the third blue, fourth green. Um, that is a way you can work it. I, like I said, when I'm busy in my client season, um, busy wedding season, that uh, stuff kind of goes on the background. And, um, but I've got so many systems built, the important things that need to get done still get done. And then when it's not wedding season, I have the capacity to focus more deeply in on some of that stuff. So that was my Friday work box routine. Um, it is now 10.15. I started this about 9 o'clock, so about an hour and 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes an hour and a half, two hours, just depending. Um, if I have a couple to-do things that I don't want to schedule for next week that I think I can go ahead and knock out. I will go ahead and knock it out um, during this time. But let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know if you're having any struggles with organizing your business. I would love to um, talk you through that and see if I can help. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a great week. And if you didn't see my weekly work vlog that was posted last week, go back and watch that as well. Um, yeah, have a good week and I will see you next week.